shady. Good afternoon, everybody. It is another beautiful day here on the ranch, and we are up here in the pasture with these little kids. These gremlins back here are going to be moving up into the orchard right behind me. So, what, ooh, there's a spider on my leg. Oh, oh these dang home spiders. Anyway, so we are going to be finishing up their fence perimeter today uh, up in the orchard and then getting these kids moved up there. So they have done an amazing job clearing our pasture. We've just had to go behind them a little bit and mow some of the long stuff that they've left. But for the most part, they have cleared everything. So now that these kids have cleared everything, it is time for them to go up, up into the orchard for some lush weeds and brush and everything they can nibble on. It's a goat stream up there. It's just really hot. I'm hiding out in the shade right now while Rob gets set up. We've been on a heat streak up here. It's been above 85 for the past like seven days. Luckily the past three days we've had rain, which is fantastic because we were also in a drought where we hadn't had rain for like 15 days. So things were looking up, but it is time to get these goats moved. So let's get busy because we got a lot of work to do. Come on. All right, so Rob's down there getting set up at one of the entrances. And if you can kind of see, we went through yesterday and put some of the black step-ins. So we're gonna be doing electrical fencing all the way up through this paddock. So it's gonna go all the way up. This is one of the little paths. And it's gonna go all the way around and come back down through here. We're gonna bring it out into this flat area so we can bring up their little, um, their little hoop hut and their water. All right. Fence is up, goats are coming in. At least the first two. And you can clearly hear Pixie in the background having a fit. And it is hot as hell. Let me go help Rob. Come on, Pixie. Come on. Come on, Pixie. Come on. Come on, Pixie. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right, you guys are in. Woo. Well, you're welcome. I think we lost five pounds of sweat for you guys. Whew. So this is the before, and maybe in a week or two, you guys will see it after. And the damage these goats do. They found the rose bush. Pixie's always by herself. All right, so we are beat, but we wanted to give you guys a quick little tour of their new paddock up here in the orchard. So we're just gonna kind of walk the perimeter and you'll kind of see where the goats are gonna have their free reign. Uh, the goats might tag along or they might just keep gorging themselves because they are very happy right now. So come on, let's go. I hear the storm coming. So just to kind of give you guys some perspective, there's the lower pasture, or not lower pasture, but I guess our middle pasture. You see the chickens and the turkeys. And the goats are up here. And their path goes all the way up. Come on guys, you want to come out of this? 
care less. Oh, Sadie's gonna follow us. Come on, Sadie. You're always our fun little tag along. And check out your new digs, kid. On this rock pile, this is the last terrace that takes you up to our highest pasture. Hey, Jack. Ooh, you found Poplar, your favorite. Come on, Pixie. Cry, baby. They love the Poplar trees. Look how much space you guys have up here. When the deer come down, you're gonna scare them and they're gonna scare you. What the heck's wrong with you guys? The weirdest looking deer they ever saw. You can already see some of these paths in here where the deer come down and they hang out in all this tall stick weed. <laughs> I think the horse flies are getting in. We've got our uh, sexy safety glasses on because the flies like to dive bomb our eyeballs and we're sick and tired of it. So these nice little safety glasses help out. And once they've cleared this whole paddock, then we can just attach another three sides to this fence and they have a whole other paddock over here. So way back in here, and behind this big old lump, there is a big, um, what the heck would you call that? Like a cavern or? A, gully. Like a gully where there's a spring that we can't get to. Um, so we're gonna use these goats to clear all that out and get rid of some of the stuff so we can get to it. We need to check on our elderberry wall right here too. I see berries on it. zigzag through the weeds and you can kind of see then the trail leads right back 
to the second tier right above the pasture and it goes all the way to right behind where all these weeds are, which is where their hut is. And that's their whole new paddock. Big space. It's probably at least a quarter of an acre. So they've got a ton of new yummy stuff to eat. This is my buddy right here. He's the sweetest one. This cashmere is already coming in for winter. I don't know if you can see it in the video here. See the, the blonde? That's a real fine layer of his uh, winter coat coming in. He's a good boy though. Can I see your, can I, oh, thank you. Oh, he went to hoof massage. Oh my goodness. You want a hoof massage? Look at them twisted up feet. You got bad genetics. Bad hoof genetics. Yeah, yeah. We're fixing them though, slowly but surely. We're fixing them. Yes. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining us today with this little adventure here, moving the goats. Uh, we appreciate everybody tuning in and like, subscribe, share this video. Uh, it helps us out so much. And there's gonna be an update video coming soon because our weekly video schedule is gonna be changing. There's some stuff going on. Um, so we're gonna update you guys on that. Until next time, thank you again and love ya, bye-bye.